हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक चेंज डॉक्यूमेंट लॉग और हिस्ट्री फॉर जी टेबल्स एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी मेंटेन्ड द लॉग और हिस्ट्री फॉर इंसर्ट फॉर डिलीट एंड नाउ वी विल मूव ऑन टू अपडेट इन केस ऑफ इंसर्ट वी पास द डेटा टू न्यू पैरामीटर इन केस ऑफ डिलीट we pass the data to old parameter now we know very well in case of update we will pass the data to old and new both in the old parameter we will pass the existing data in the new parameter we will pass the new data so firstly we will check in this program where we have the existing or old data and where we have the new data if you see if you see this logic anyways this is fully explained in the abab programming playlist database operation topic your existing data your existing data of a order number is in lwa display work area see suppose if i am passing a order number so what is the existing order date payment mode total amount and currency is there it is into this particular work area it means old data is in this work area now after changing suppose we have a payment mode c we are changing the payment mode to d after changing your new data is going into lwa data work area suppose i will show you in the debugging mode and anyways this topic is fully fully explained in the database operation playlist suppose as of now i will explain i am putting a break point here i will put a break point here also so i so that i can show you the old data and new data both i am writing suppose i am putting order number 1 i will choose update now we choose the third radio button third radio button capital x we put the right order number so whenever the query will execute sai sabarsi will be zero zero so system will go to which part else part system went to else part for order number 1 it fetched order date payment mode total amount and currency and if you see in this work area we have the existing data of the order number means old data of the order number now i will run suppose now suppose i am changing payment mode to d i am changing suppose date to 10 suppose i am changing that date to 10 and i am executing so lwa display has the old data now if i will go next you can see now if i will go for the new values what are the new values in lwa display we have the old data this is ninth date this is payment mode c now whatever the new data we are passing we are passing it to lwa data work area if i will show you lwa data work area you can see in lwa data work area we have the new new payment mode and the date it means whatever we are passing to our change document log function module lwa data will go to new parameter lwa display will go to the old parameter yes because this has the old data this has the new data and anyways 
once you develop this database operation program by your own, you will get the full idea. Yes, the existing data is coming into this work area. But if you want to directly start with this topic, no problem. Just drop a mail to me. I will send the code of database operation to you and you can directly, directly write the logic of change document log. Now, what I will do, I will simply, simply now go for writing the function module logic. Now, this is our update logic. This is our update logic. Now, if update is successful, size sub RC will be zero. Now, I will go to pattern button and I will call this function module. Our change document log function module. Object ID, we all know in the object ID, we are always, always passing the order number, order number. So, I will copy the same to same logic. This is our order number. Now, LV underscore object ID. Anyways, first five parameters will be same as it is. So I will copy this. Two times we did the same to same thing. In front of transaction code, user time, user date, user name. We are going for all these things. So first five parameters are same you see. Now I will change the update indicator. Now we need to pass you. Now, now we need to use make use of new and old both. Now I will uncomment new first. Your new, your new data is into which work area? LWA data work area. Up to this level, it is extremely good. See, LWA data is of our table type, is of our table. We are referring to our table. It's not a table type. We are referring to table table. It's not a table type. Do not confuse with the term table type. Our work area is referring to table, table. Table has how many columns? Six columns. It means this work area has six columns. If I will check this new parameter, this new parameter is also referring to our table and table has six columns. There is no problem at all. Now the question comes for the old. And here, people will do the maximum mistake, maximum mistake. If you see our old parameter also, our old parameter also is referring to table. And table has how many column? Six column. Now, if I will pass the old work area in which we have the old data, your old data is in which work area? LWA display. If I will double click on to this work area, this work area is of this particular structure type. And structure has how many column? Only four column. See, old parameter of the function module has six column and you are passing a work area of four column. So system will simply, simply throw you runtime error there is a type mismatch. Now, what is one option? It is totally your wish how you want to go. You can add that two extra column here also. MANDT and order number. Once you will add here, yes, both will become compatible. Now, what is another option? Because we will not touch the existing code. Existing code should be as it is. So what we will do, I will declare a new old work area. Suppose I am writing data, LWA underscore old, suppose I will write type. The type of this old work area, 
will be same as that of our table. Most, most common mistake because type mismatch should not be there. So we declared a old work area, which also has same to same column. So I will pass this old work area in front of this old parameter. Now, as of now, this old parameter is blank, blank. So I will pass that data to this old work area. So what is LWA old? What is first column? Order number. Order number is coming from where? Our parameter itself. Because in LWA underscore display, in this LWA underscore display, which has the old data, in that order number is not there. In that order number is not there. It has only only four columns, but we need to pass the order number. Now for rest of the four column, we will simply simply pass that data. So our order number is in P underscore order number. Now I will do control D, control D, D, T, duplicate the line. So order number, then we have order date. Then we have payment mode. Then we have total amount. And then we have currency. Now, these four column data, these four column data is where it is in LWA display. LWA display order date. LWA display payment. LWA display total amount. LWA display currency. I'll check the syntax and now, what is the summary of the video? An update is extremely important. And yes, maximum time, the log of update is very, very important. We all know in case of update, we need to pass the old data to old parameter, new data to new parameter. We checked in our existing program, our old values of order date, payment mode, total amount and currency is going into LWA display work area. LWA display work area. And our new data is in LWA data work area. So LWA data, we pass to the new parameter. But LWA display has only four columns. How we can pass four column to six column? SAP will throw you runtime error. So what we did, we created a temporary work area of six column. Means it is of directly table itself, type table itself. Then after that, we pass that data from our LWA display to that old work area. So LWA old has six column. This also has six column and we pass the update indicator to you. And this all data, we passed it to the update function module. Now, most important thing to remember, we cannot change the order number. Order number is the primary key of the table. We can only, only update rest of the things. Order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. So in this video, we're done with the logic part. In the next video, we will see everything in the debugging mode, how, how we are getting the log for the update. So that's it in this video. Thank you.